What's going on everybody? This is Cutter at Castle Roy Studios. I wanted to share with you guys my uh, vocal chain for the lead vocal on this record I'm mixing. It's by an artist named Cage. Uh, the song is called Ski Mask. And hopefully you can you can learn something from, from my workflow on this record and implement it into your workflow. So first thing we want to do, let's just listen to the record and just see what, just see what we're working with. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves with the hood. In the hood. Popping tags, yeah, you mad, wish you could. Wish you could. Blood in the boys, man, I wish somebody would. Woo. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves with the hood. In the hood. Popping tags, yeah, you mad, wish you could. Wish you could. Blood in the boys, man, I wish somebody would. So as you can tell, there's some slight uh, delay slaps on there, slap delays, vocals. It's nice and present, it's tight. It's got some grit to it. Basically, what I did to get there, you know, my vocal chain, I usually like to start off with some surgical EQ. Nothing drastic, some dynamic EQ, uh, just so I'm not taking away a lot of things because the vocal was recorded very pretty good. So I just kind of wanted to touch it and be subtle and clean it a little bit. Then I went to use some DSing uh, around 8K. Um, I also did some D, I would, I guess you can call it DSing, but I'm using some dynamic EQ on the Pro EQ right here around 10K, around maybe, yeah, around like 10K, almost 11K, just on those high S's and hard T's. And then the LA-2A, it's doing most of the heavy workload as far as compression. It's putting, you know, it's making the vocals sit tight. Uh, then I'll come down, then I'll use the Slate Digital uh, Virtual Mix Rack running it through uh, the virtual channel console. The 1176, their version of it, I'm just touching it a little bit with that. Just a little bit of uh, boost at uh, 11K, some thickness and some shine on it. And I'm using my trimmer as a volume knob on this. Then I would go down I would, and I would pull the uh, Poitech EQ just to add polish, add some low, you know, add some body, about 60 Hertz. And then just add a little bit more presence at 5K here. Then I'm using the uh, FG Gray from Slate as well, basically just to kind of glue the vocal within the mix. So kind of a fast attack, pretty pretty much a fast release. I'm not hitting it too hard, maybe getting the needle to touch about three and a half to four. And I'm brought the mix down just so, it, you know, just to kind of use it in like parallel compression. I think the biggest thing with this vocal would be the, the Devil Lock. It's kind of like a saturator distortion plug-in from Sound Toys. I basically use this to kind of darken the vocal and to add, just to add that grit to where it's more present because the, the record's kind of a dark record. And then added some more saturation with the virtual tape machine. I'm just pretty much cranking the input just to kind of touch around zero. And uh, yeah, just adding more saturation just to give the vocal that presence it needs. And then to make sure the vocal sits right in the pocket, I don't, I didn't want the vocal too wide. I wanted it tight to sit right in the mix. I'm using some imaging uh, with the S1 Imager from Waves. Then of course we always do some parallel compression here with the LA76, and then pretty much my effects. I got some a little bit of light reverb. I got a slap delay from Echo Boy that I use. So with all that, all those plugins on this mix bus, this is what the vocal sounds like. And I'll kind of, I'll pull up all the plugins so you can kind of see how they're working and look at the needle and see where they're hitting. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves with the hood. In the hood. Popping tags, yeah, you mad, wish you could. Wish you could. Blood in the boys, man, I wish somebody would. Woo. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves with the hood. In the hood. Poppin' tags, yeah, you mad, wish you could. Wish you could. Blood in the boys, man, I wish somebody would. Oh. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves with the hood. In the hood. Poppin' tags, yeah, you mad, wish you could. Wish you could. Blood in the boys, man, I wish somebody would. Woo. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves. So, yeah, you can you can kind of see where the LA-2A is uh, doing most of the, the heavy workload as far as compression. Uh, let's play it again. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Got the goods. Ski mask, black gloves with the hood. In the hood. Popping tags, yeah, you mad, wish you could. Wish you could. Blood in the boys, man, I wish somebody would. Woo. 
Got the bag, get the check, got the good. Now you can see right here when I on this SSL channel by Slate, you can see I really didn't do a lot of boosting with this. I didn't I didn't really have to add much because it was recorded pretty good. So a lot of the surgical EQ, once you take out some of the stuff you don't like, everything else comes to life. So I didn't have to do a lot of boosting here and the vocal just kind of sit right. Got the bag, get the check, got the goods. Again with the boy tech, just to add some polish. The FG Grey just to kind of glue, to glue the vocal in the mix. Saturation here, sound toys, darken the vocal to make it gritty. Some more saturation just to push the vocal. S1 Imager, you can get the vocal right in the mix where I want it. So again, that was my process on this record. Every song is different. I may change a lot of the plugins I may use, or I may tweak the order what, where I place the, the plugins, just depending on the record. Again, this is my way of doing it. You don't have to do it this way. This, there's some techniques that I use that are pretty standard. And uh, hopefully you were able to gather some information from me showing you this and you can, you can utilize it in your workflow. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to look at more tutorials on mixing techniques and music production, make sure you subscribe to Castle Roll Studios on YouTube. Check this out. If you want to learn how I mix the kick in the 808 and use some sidechain techniques on this record, check out the next video in the link.